Hey everybody, it's Matthew Seville here with SLRLounge.com. This video is about mirror lockup and the general concept of eliminating mechanical shake from your images. Now, mirror lockup itself is a feature that's been around for many, many years, but you might not have delved into it yet. However, if you shoot landscapes or anything still from a tripod and you're concerned about the utmost sharpness, you definitely want to pay attention. Even if you recently switched to a mirrorless camera without a mirror, you actually still want to watch this video. First, because I love camera geeky history lessons, let's talk about the overall history of mirror lockup and how it came about. Right before you click a picture or as you're clicking a photo, what happens is the mirror flops up the chunk and the, then the shutter opens and goes click to start the exposure. Mirror lockup was created as a feature for an advanced feature for serious photographers shooting landscapes so that you can go the mirror up with the first click of your shutter, but the shutter itself doesn't open. Then you click again and the shutter actually opens to start the exposure. That eliminates, that allows you to eliminate the motion, the mechanical junk of the mirror going up. And then you wait for that precise moment. Say there's water crashing on waves at the beach or something, then that's when you click that shutter. Now you have to be using a cable release or a wireless shutter release, otherwise all bets are off because you're touching your camera to click the photo. So that's one thing to remember. But anyways, that's how mirror lockup works. Now that shutter itself is still a mechanical operation and that can be a problem that I'll talk about in a second. But first I wanna tell you about my favorite implementation of mirror lockup. And unfortunately it's only available on Nikon cameras. It's called exposure delay mode. And what I've done is I've programmed it onto my function button on all of my Nikon cameras. And what it allows me to do is to turn on a one or two or three second timer. What happens is the mirror goes up and then it waits one or two or three seconds and then opens the shutter automatically. It's basically like having automated mirror lockup. And I use this religiously as a landscape photographer when I'm shooting on Nikon cameras. But that's only a Nikon feature. There might be other similar implementations of it. Canon has two second timer, uh, but it's, it's still, it's, it might still be different based on which camera you have. Fortunately, by the way, you only need to worry about mirror lockup at certain shutter speeds that are really the worst as far as making blurry images. If you're shooting, for example, a five second or a 10 second or whatever long, long exposure, you actually just use two second timer or whatever and you'll be fine. If you're shooting at a half a second or a quarter of a second or an eighth of a second though, that is when, that's the danger zone when you really, really need to pay attention and use mirror lockup if you can. Okay, last but not least, all you mirrorless shooters pay attention because like I said, if your camera has a mechanical shutter, there is still that potential for a camera shake issue. This was actually a really serious problem with the original Sony cameras, the A7R, and it's actually much improved nowadays, but you still have the potential for a problem. So what cameras have now, the modern cameras, have what's called electronic first curtain shutter. And what that does is the mirror goes up if your camera has a mirror and then the shutter also opens and waits for you to click the shutter that second time, the button, and then it starts the exposure electronically with no mechanical movement whatsoever. And that is how you eliminate all shake from your images. Now, unfortunately on Canon, Nikon and Sony, electronic first curtain shutter is implemented a little bit differently and it's kind of complicated even from camera to camera so you're gonna have to dig out that camera manual and look it up and see how it works so that you can be the master of eliminating all shake all blur from your images now of course wind on your in your tripod could also be a problem but that just takes you know practice out in the field but hopefully with this knowledge of mechanical mirror lockup and if you have it, electronic first curtain shutter, you should be able to create the sharpest possible images that your camera and lenses have to offer. So that's about it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you in our next video. And that's about it. I think that whole take was trash anyways, compared to the other one. 
All right. Done. I give up. <laughs>